Paul Hindemith, composer, was born near Frankfurt, Germany, the son of Robert Hindemith, a house painter, and Marie Warnock Hindemith. He began violin lessons in 1904 and was enrolled into Frankfurt's Hotch Conservatory in 1909, where he studied violin and composition. In 1914 his father volunteered to serve in the army, he was killed fighting in France, and Paul took responsibility for supporting his mother, brother, and sister. He joined the orchestra of the Frankfurt Opera in 1915 and was also made concertmaster. He also played viola in a quartet with his violin teacher. From 1917 to 1919, he served in the army as well. In 1927, Hindemith became a teacher at the Stotlick Hochschule for Music in Berlin. He found teaching a rewarding experience and became interested in musical education for the public. Hindemith's teaching activity also inspired him to write a theoretical work, Unter Weijungheim Tonsatz, two volumes, 1935, 1937, translated as The Craft of Musical Composition. His early music was considered anti-romantic and iconoclastic, but also showed humor, exuberance, and inventiveness. His camera music series for small, unconventional, astringent groups of instruments is breathtaking. He also produced the works Violin Concerto, 1939, the Cello Concerto, 1940, his own composition The Symphonic Metamorphoses after themes by Carl Maria von Weber, 1946, and the operas Die Harmony der Welt, 1957, The Harmony of the World, and The Long Christmas Dinner. Hindemith's camera music number one was one of the very first orchestral pieces written by a classical composer to include accordion. Nonetheless, it is significant to note that it was indeed the first piece written by a classical composer for the chromatic accordion an instrument which can play chromatic tones, i.e., tones in all 12 keys. In addition, Hindemith wrote for an advanced instrument which had only recently been manufactured by the Honer Company, an accordion which included both standard Stradella left-hand buttons and free bass left-hand buttons. The primitive diatonic accordion would not do for Hindemith's music that featured more modern polytonal harmonies. The evolution of the accordion and the training of its performers had advanced sufficiently in Germany by the early 1920s. So much that Hindemith felt confident that he could find competent classically trained accordionists to play his music. Like his contemporaries, as a composer faced a void left by the dissolution of traditional musical structure. Though some of his earlier compositions tended toward atonality, most of his work is tonal, and he developed his own system of treating harmony and tonality, based on a hierarchy of tension, dissonance, and relaxation, consonants. Among his operas, his masterpiece is Mathis de Mailer, 1938, is based on the life of the German painter Matthias Grunewald. A symphony drawn from themes of this opera is one of his best-known orchestral works. Paul Hindemith did accomplish many things within his lifetime. He contributed help change orchestras. He died at the age of 68 on the 28 of December 1963. Thank <laughs> you.